Today we're going to be flying the Mooney Ovation from PAAD, which is the Point Thompson Airstrip, which happens to be right on the Arctic Sea in the north coast of Alaska. We're going to be flying that down to RK-1, which is the Kavik River Camp Airstrip. And it's about oh, 29 nautical miles southwest of PAAD. Cabic River Camp has one runway. It's 5,500 feet long by 150 feet wide, and it's uh, unpaved. It's a gravel runway. And the runway is uh, runway 8, bearing 80 degrees, runway 26, bearing 260 degrees. By the way, they also have uh, AB gas, which is $12 a gallon and Jet A50, which is $10 a gallon. And if you feel a need to go shopping, the closest big city is Fairbanks, almost 500 miles south. The nearest road is 80 miles to the west. So now I'm going to spill the beans, so to speak. You might actually be familiar with this place if you have ever watched the television show Life Below Zero Degrees, because Cabot River Camp is one of the locations filmed in that show. For 20 years, the camp has been owned, operated, run, managed, maintained by a gal named Susan Akins, who lives there year-round. She's pretty much a star on the Life Below Zero TV series. We interrupt the actual purpose of this presentation in order to make a comment about my Mooney aircraft. I don't know what it is, but from time to time, either in the air or on the ground, the Mooney's pilot, co-pilot door will open and close randomly. It's kind of annoying when you're trying to shoot a video, and I've been accused of being mean to the co-pilot and had him jump out of the aircraft but I don't think that happened. Oh, and it's something you can't see from inside the aircraft. You can only see it from an external view. As stated on their website, the Kevick River Camp is there to provide services to those who need and want them while they visit the high Arctic and caters to its clientele and the needs of planes and helos requiring fuel and services.
I do want to point out that while I'm sort of annoyed by that co-pilot door opening and closing at random, I really, really do like this Mooney aircraft. It's a lot of fun to fly and it's very fast. Well, we're getting close now, so we'll be getting things set up for our approach and landing, and we'll see you when we're on the ground. Well, welcome to RK1, the Kavik River Camp. And if you see Sue Aikens, be sure to wave at her. And also, if you've never watched it before, make sure you watch an episode of Life Before Zero Degrees. Then you can see what this place really looks like. Remember me mentioning about the co-pilot door randomly opening and closing? While I take the drone up and show you Cabot from the air, I'll accompany that with a piece of music 
that I wrote and produced not terribly long ago. Well, thank you for flying along with me. I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed seeing the Cabot River Camp. So make sure you take a look at Life Below Zero Degrees.